Hello, hello, my positive power ladies. I'm going to tell you a lot about her, but this is a big surprise because you can see her. Renu, say hello from Dubai. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm this is exciting, from... isn't it? Yes. That we can actually see our guest, of course, if you just want to listen, but we have a surprise for you. So you're going to want to see it. But before we get into that, I want to go a little bit about Positive Power Ladies and its mission, because a lot of women have said to me, Sandy, what is your new mission in 2021 now that you're back out there? And guess what? It's going to be the same thing, Renew, to inspire others to see their true power within. And we attract a lot of entrepreneurs or that entrepreneur soul, because some people say, well, I work for other companies, but I have my side gig or I do charity work. It's all about inspiring you when everyone else thinks you're lunatic, crazy, ideas wackadoo. I say to them, that's when you go stronger. Because so many times, if you think about the people you admire, right, they push through when no one got what they were doing. That's true. That's true. I think so my, one of my journeys, my journey is like that totally. Yeah. They're like, mm -hmm. what? You're broke. You're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul entrepreneurial spirit and that's what we're after so let me let me tell them a little about you renew let me make sure i get this right manjuta yes yeah <laughs> manjuta is coming from a renowned family of jewelers so it's no surprise that she forwayed into the jewelry industry i did not know that when it came to venturing into entrepreneurship her mm -hmm. passion for jewelry which I need to know more about because I'm a scarf lady. Mm -hmm. I always put the wrong necklace on, so I gave up. And enterprising spirit is what makes her different from the run of the mill. Moreover, her mission with label RM is to revolutionize, ooh, revolutionize the business, both in terms of creativity, in product lines, as well as services. In a short span of time, the brand label RM has surpassed Whoa, surpassed a premium space in the UAE market. You go, girl. The brand caters to the top socialites of the UAE and has created a sensation in the fashion jewelry industry. Awesome. Today, label RM is synonymous with exclusive handcrafted statement jewelry and is available at premium Pret stores across the UAE. Man, I got to come to Dubai. Renew also does philanthropy work supporting rescue centers in the UAE, arranging raising funds to support these centers with medical help and foster homes. Welcome, Renew. All right, before we get started, I always ask all my guests if you were going to say one word that best describes your past 30 days, what is that word and why? Is that for me? Yep, it's for you. One word, one word to best describe or new your past 30 days, what would it be? Good, bad, or uh, ugly? In Arabic, we say shukar, gratitude. Oh, say that and again. I like it in Arabic. Arabic, we say shukar. And that's the word that I always have on my uh, this that I'm gratitude to God, gratitude to all for uh, getting me here. So you do you wake up with that? Is it something you've trained yourself to do? Or do you, you wake up with other thoughts and then you shift over to gratitude? I actually started waking up with saying shukar. Mm. Do you think it took a while to get there? Like, did you just keep saying it and saying it until finally it was just natural? It's uh, yes, it did take time. But as as life has taken me through, it's like I uh, I'm totally thankful to what I am today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, before we show some of this awesome jewelry, which I do want to see, I want to go dive a little bit into your journey, like where you came from. Did you grow up in Dubai? Is your family in Dubai? Because so many people I get there, they're from other places. So I need to know your story. No, I was born in Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai. Oh. And after marriage, I came to Dubai. So um, basically, um, my parents, my grandparents are from pre-independence uh, uh, north of India. Oh. And after independence, they shifted to Delhi. And then my dad came to Mumbai and I was born in Mumbai. So um, that's, that's the uh, story, where the story starts. 
Yeah. So are your, is your family still there? My family's still in the Mumbai. Prayers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and do you, before COVID, did you visit a lot? I do. I used to visit every four months to Mumbai to my, meet my parents, my in-laws. All are there in Mumbai. So when's the last time you were there? Um, before COVID, I think so January 2020. Oof. Yeah, they must miss you terribly. It, definitely they're missing. I, I hope it opens care. up soon so you can travel. How, how long is the flight there from it's where you three are? It's three years. Oh, it's okay. Like so it's not like here going halfway across the world yet. Yeah. No, it's just three hours. Yeah, so it's not so bad. All right, I need to know your favorite thing about living in India. What was your favorite thing about living there? Uh, India, Mumbai is always home. I still yeah. feel the moment I land there, it's like, you know, this is my place. And my memories with my grandmom is something that I always cherish. Mm. So... Um, the story of jewelry also goes from her to me. So, oh. and I love to share that story. So my, when my grandma, when I was young, she used to tell me stories about how they used to wear jewelry they, um, uh, after marriage and they used to wear these long necklaces and the hairpins were in gold. And I used to shout at my grandma saying, why didn't you keep all this for me? Why did you? Uh, so she said, you know, um, how could we keep this for you? We didn't know that you're going to come. So from that time when I have always adorned jewelry, it's always like, oh, there was a gold hairpin as well. Yeah, so, yeah. So all this passion has come from my grandmom to me. Her stories, her uh, mm. this has always inspired me. So uh, yes, those are my special memories of Mumbai. Yeah. You know, that's so neat. I can just visualize you sitting there with your grandmother and it's those stories will just take you through your entire life. So precious. Yes, they are precious. Yeah. Okay. So now you're here in Dubai, which I think if one more person says you have to come here, Sandy, you're going to love it. And I'm sure you love it. And I just, every, even the pictures I see, Ooh, the women are so fashionable, right? Are they, and they're always dressed up. I mean, I, I always feel like whenever they come out, it's like, Whoa, they look so put together. Is that mm. true? It's, it's very true. The, Dubai is like an um, open uh, socialite place mm. we enjoy a lot it's safe secured so and it's my home from last two and a half decade so yeah. it's just my home now yeah and I get it's like a a party town like someone's always throwing a party right an event of course, of course yeah, yeah. Mm. they have events for everything which I love I always like to make a big deal out of the smallest little thing okay so in the business now, you must have had a really shift with COVID because I bet a lot of your business was you being out there and showing it and presenting it at places, right? Isn't that what you did travel around and I mean, they yes. meet you and you're able to talk to them? Yes. my uh, Yeah. So that must've been very, very tough. Pre-COVID, my business was uh, exhibitions. We used to visit a lot of countries. We used to meet a lot of clients and lot of customization you know depending because mine is more of a wedding jewelry so um, the client wanted uh, to customize as per her dresses as per her occasions as per because you see mm. India we have loads of occasions getting married is like a five six day big affair wait whoa 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 five six days five six days okay. and uh, big affair especially now the trend is destination wedding mm -hmm. so it's like you are going to another country and then you are celebrating your wedding and we all enjoying there. So it's, it's, it's like five, six days you are in um, a different country for the wedding. Mm. I love that. The party. It, it's, be it's better than just going somewhere and the wedding's one day and that's it. You know what I mean? No. Let, no. Let's go for it. So you really had to tell her that. And I remember you saying to me, which you have to tell the story. Most of the women were saying, we're not going to wear jewelry. That's not real diamonds. Okay. And then they saw your stuff and was like, whoa. Right. And then they realized, well, wait a minute. Do I really want to take my real stuff traveling? That's, that's true. That's my tipping point. That's where my USB comes in. So is they at first were resistant. 
there's yeah. no way. Dubai is a place of gold. It is glittering in real gold. So when here the women used to wear original gold, original diamonds, and then the trends when started changing, fashion started changing, and uh, destination wedding became a um, uh, very um, common factor yeah. here. So people started, uh, the ladies started thinking, you know, whether to carry their real jewels or take a risk to go into another country, pay the duty, uh, go through the customs, and then you are you can't enjoy because you're already wearing real jewelry. So um, it, it's it's a difficult uh, um, time. So mm. that's where then um, that's where I got my um, uh, inspiration to do design jewelry that looks like real, but it is affordable and um, yeah. easy on uh, carrying. Yeah, I bet, I mean, I'm not an expert, but I bet most people, even the customer can't tell it's not real. Yes, that's that's what uh, I say always sugar because my if my clients are happy, if my clients, the, the clients who never used to wear um, the, uh, the not real gold started wearing my jewelry. So that gives me so much of happiness. Yeah. Like at least I have, achieved what I actually wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get that. So I, I'm looking through because I want to make sure that people are inspired by your journey to follow theirs. And one of your big tips is innovation is key, you know? Yes. But that that's hard for some people because their biggest thing is if it's innovated and someone hasn't done it right, it could fail. Yeah, but that's that's the challenge, Sandy. Um, in, you have to innovate or else you'll, you'll be uh, switched from the market very soon. We keep on changing, we keep on bringing. You have to have the confidence that what you are creating definitely uh, would be liked by clients. You know, you keep the clients in mind and you make something different. Like uh, Label RM is a pioneer of getting in um, shell jewelry. Uh, nobody thought that we could make jewelry out of the shells that are available at the beach, but we made a custom uh, sustainable jewelry. Then we got in clay jewelry, which is again a pioneer. We are pioneers in that. That we baked jewelry, mm -hmm. and um, that is another thing that came into the Dubai markets. They had never seen such things before. Definitely for me also, it was a challenge whether my clients would like it or not. But it did. My, I did get a good response. Again, well, the stone jewelry. You know, is it like, do they request where they want it from? Or do you just find jewelry on the beach? Like, do they say, I want you to get me a shell from this beach? Or do you just bring them what you have? No, I, I actually um, started it. I just got some shells and let me try them making. Let me mold them along around the metal and see what you can make it. And um, I just tested the markets. I kept three, four pieces. And trust me, I would love to share a story where a couple getting married, um, the boy proposed, the groom proposed on the beach and there was, she has this precious shell that was there and she wanted that to be made into a necklace so that um, um, that could be a remembrance of their uh, uh, engagement. <sighs> love it. So I have, um, that gives me so much of uh, happiness that I could at least give them what they wanted from yeah. customizing. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's say I had a special shell, you know, that my son gave me, my husband gave me, whatever. Yes, yes. I could give it to you and say, listen, this means so much. It's just this little shell, but it, to me, it brings back memories of what we did on the beach. Like when he was two and he found this little shell for me. And sometimes you just put them in a jar and then you forget about, I could give it to you and you could make a necklace out of it or bring Definitely. whatever. Definitely. We can mold the metal around it and make a nice necklace with a chain so you can wear it. And it looks very pretty. That is incredible because that is even more like bringing the feeling, you know what I mean? And the emotion and mm. there's so much sentimental value. Ugh. I just uh, had a client who just, uh, her father passed away in COVID 
and she had a chain a just a small chain of rubies and pearls in silver and she wanted it to, to be customized into a necklace so that she remembers it um as a father's gift so mm. we we broke it and we got uh, we mixed up with some different earrings and we made a necklace out of it and um, um and she she said you know if my father was alive she he would have blessed you loads that's what uh, i you know i'm thinking of and i'm thinking oh you silly girl i remember a while ago when uh, a boyfriend gave me what do they call tennis bracelets here and tennis yeah. bracelets are just all little diamonds yes and when we broke up because i didn't want to have any memory of him i threw it out how silly i could have taken that right yes those dive and made something else definitely that's where uh, my forte comes in i love i cannot have peace like that i need to break it and make us something different that that is my uh, all right so i'm getting three things here and i want to make sure i got this correct so everybody gets it one you can design and customize whatever someone's vision is like you can make it you can make it similar to a piece they have and yet it's not real so they can travel with it. Yes. Correct? Okay, yeah. number 1. Number 2, you can take something like a shell that they found on the beach or that has a great memory and make it into yes. a necklace for them. Yes. We have done that for our yeah. clients. And three, you can take real jewels that people have yes. and make it into something and say, "Listen, I have this. Can you make it into a piece?" Yes, I have done that also. that's called innovation okay yeah that's what the, that is where um, label arm um, actually could get the success yeah because my clients my my, uh, my clients are like make something that nobody has uh, the same exclusivity is my passion uh yeah if, and especially when they're you're looking at their thing or you're giving this something no one else is going to have it absolutely All right, next big thing which I'm all about, I call it my game plan because I have goal, action, motivation, energy I'm going to put into it. Setting goals. So important to set goals for your business. I don't know how you set yours and I'd love to see your method because for me, I think a lot of people don't set goals. I call them benchmarks really because you're going to hit some and you're not. But if you don't set it, you don't have a direction. And that's, that's again, true. people are afraid hmm. of failure. and not reaching it. So what do you do to set goals? We plan a lot. You know, um Sandy, I had a lot of hurdles when I started this business. Um because I'm staying in Dubai, my artisans are all over the world now and to um coordinate with them to get something that are the quality I require. It all takes it all it has taken a lot of time. It was not easy for a journey at all. Um you know um uh, because we are here i had to make sure the metal is a non allergen metal because that's where customers um uh, uh require mm. that's one yeah because if the metal is allergic or something um the clients will not come back to me so i had to make sure the metal is allergen allergen free then i had to make sure it looks as real as possible but at the same time it is light weighted because i don't wow. want any uh for the jewelry to be heavy as the real jewelry so um and the third was the finish the quality mm. which i um i'm very particular about so when we talk about goals first thing is i am very particular my quality is um uh, perfect even one finish even one uh, this has to be perfect because we are catering to clients skin we are we do not want anything happen to them because of our jewelry so um, this is how we work and now we have a craftsman in india taiwan hong kong uh, we working with clients artisans in um, um, bangladesh so that's how um, slowly slowly um, when once i started my journey i could e easily make my goals okay this is my goal this is how i have to reach this is where my product should be looking like and uh, reaching the markets this way you know i'm glad to hear you say that because i think of many of us 
when we see people on social media, we don't hear the backstory and it just looks so easy peasy, you know? Well, you're not sharing your backstory as an entrepreneur. <laughs> you're putting your best foot forward, right? You don't sit there and tell every, you know, all, you can't tell the client the up and down. So I appreciate you sharing that it, you know, it wasn't just woohoo, flying high. No, it was, uh, if I if I just got some jewelry from Mumbai and started selling here, it would have been very easy. But that is not where I wanted my label RM to go as like a commercial uh, product. Mm. We, cl- we just make exclusive. We, uh, we work with our clients' dreams, their wants, their needs. When it is a wedding in India or in uh, Dubai, bride will definitely have some vision in mind. Okay, my, my uh, jewelry should look like this. My uh, ring should look like this. I should have be having, it should match to my wedding dress. So this is all we take care of. So, mm. uh, and um, working, finding artisans in Dubai for my jewelry, because we had for uh, real jewelry, but not for um, uh, fashion or com- um, semi-precious jewelry. Yeah, yeah. So I had, to, I had to sit and create an entire team for that. So, so that, that is where my challenge was. And then slowly, yeah. when I could, Cross the hurdle, I knew my label arm could be working. Then we had our goals set up. Yeah, yeah. Well, it also, your mission, your vision, uh, and I think that's very important for people to hear. You were very clear on what you wanted. And even though you hit bumps in the roads, you stayed true to the client you wanted and the market you wanted. Yes. Yeah. For, uh, for us, the client satisfaction is very important. We actually, we work very close to clients' requirement. Only yeah. then we are able to um, give them what they like about it. Yeah. Well, there you go. You, if they love it, they're going to, it's word of mouth, right? They're going to. Yes, it's word of mouth. And which is, and it's a big thing. It sounds so like basic, but a lot of times we don't listen to your client, you know, like they, they know. Sandy, now uh, because of the COVID, Definitely the finance uh, um, status of everybody is shifted. Now, if, no, not everybody wants high end, not everybody wants, but definitely their, their wishes, their uh, dreams are always to have the best. So now what we have done is trying to create something in their budget, uh, but to their liking. So that, that is how we keep changing. We keep, we keep our clients in mind and then work around. If their budget is not to go high, so we will work something, but that doesn't mean that we are going to give them a bad call, um, high, less quality one. No, we don't compromise on our quality. We don't compromise on uh, the finish we are going to give them. The, the, the bride has to look beautiful. That's yeah. the mission. Yeah, that yeah. must have been one sticky wicken, I call it, because you want it to look amazing, but they have to be able to afford it. And like you said, with COVID, a lot of people can't afford the same things. Oof. I had to be a big challenge because I can see it in your eyes. You are a perfectionist with this. You need it to be a certain way, that's which is true. great. That's true. I mean, when they hire you, that's a great feeling to have. Like she's not just throwing this together. She wants me to have the same feeling of my jewelry and her, you're taking their vision and making it come to life. It's all over your face. It, you can see how much you love it. What's my passion? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see how much you love it. All right. Well, I love this. I could talk to you forever, but I want to make sure we get the jewelry in. So is there some things you can show us? I'm so excited. I will show you something I have carved. I hope you could see that. This is carved in rose quartz. Oh, it's gorgeous. And this is sterling silver with original pearls. This is completely a rose cast stone that is carved. I hand handmade carved. Wow. There's nothing, no uh, machine use. This completely. Yeah. yeah. So this well, is you can see it. You can see it. It's just gorgeous. I mean, so, that's a statement. Yeah. You wear it on any dress. You wear it on Indian. You wear it on a shirt. You wear it on anything. It looks very classy. You know, I, I always said that, that a lot of women, and they're better at this than me, Renu. I'm not a great traveler. I, I wear pieces that you will notice. And they used to say, Sandy, we'll have to talk afterwards. Wear a basic color, 
and bring jewelry and the jewelry will take a black shirt and make it pop or a green shirt. And I'm, that's what you're saying. You could dress it up or dress it down. That's something I made with jade. That's a jade stone. And I have hold it up a little higher. Hold it up a little higher. Ah, <gasps> now that's an original jade stone and that original jade. That's I my colors. Worked. I love, yeah. I love green. And I love this. This is all on Kundan. That is Indian. Um, uh, I made it in Kundan so that I, I, I was making a fusion of Indian with, uh, uh, with stones. And these are all nice and semi-precious beads and silver spacers. So this is something that you wear on saris and um, Indian dresses. It looks lovely. I love it. I love it. Is there anything else you want to show us? I can see stuff in the background too. Yeah, the old wedding. They, this is something that I've designed. This is for the wedding. Holy moly. Oh my God, it's stunning. Yeah, that's great. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. The bride's eyes must be like, ah. Yeah, this is for the Arabic bride. Hey, so, I would wear that. Oh, lovely. I would wear that. I love things around my, yeah, I love it. These are simple uh, chains that I make on original lapis stone. And they are handcuffed. If you see, it is hand painted. Put it up a little the, closer. Oh, there you hand, go. Hand oh, painted like with purple. Is it purple? Yeah, purplish lapis, blue lapis. They are original stones, but we have hand painted with gold dust on it. Can you see the paint? Yes, I see. So each stone is painted. And um, this is something, it looks very royal. Uh, and one yeah. of my best sellers. I love it. I love it. So when you say you work with people, do you already have things that it's already pre-made they can buy? Like you said, that's your bestseller. Besides custom designing, do you have like a website where they could go on and say, oh, you, I can just pick this from a collection? Yes, I do have a website and we have some ready things, always ready because I keep creating new pieces. Mm -hmm. And definitely we customize as per our clients' requirements also. Oh my God. Now, do you, is your main thing necklaces or do you also have, like, do you do bracelets for people or earrings? I do everything. Whatever okay. the client requires, I get them made. I'll just show you some of my pieces. Oh my God. So this I is love, like- I love the green one. Yeah. Yeah, I would wanted to show you. This is something with emeralds and it's a three-tone piece. Can you see the gold? Oh, the I see it. The oxidized and the silver. You know, these pieces are so stunning. I, I would choose them over real, you know what I mean? Like they're just unbelievable, like incredible. You can see the craftsmanship in it. And I, yeah. uh, by the way, I, I didn't see them beforehand the last time. Renu and I talked, we didn't, I didn't want to see him because I wanted to be excited, you know, for the show. And oh my God, crazy, crazy. I have, I have created a lot of masterpieces for clients and they're not ready to share the pictures with me. So they don't show anybody because, because they are friends and they, they think that's a real one. Yeah. So we have clients that will, don't want to share their pictures because it gives them the pleasure that, okay, they are wearing real. The people have commented, oh, you're wearing a real jewelry. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand that, right. So there's all these masterpieces that no one knows you created. I get yes. that, I get that. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, so much fun, so much fun. So before we go though, I just have a few questions for you. Number one, what do you do in your free time? Like, what, do you have uh, any hobbies besides creating jewelry and working? Uh, I'm too much into helping the cats. That is one of my uh philanthropy work that i love to do i'm, I'm an animal person also gotcha. I, I am too much into uh i meditate i work out i keep busy plus yeah. i have a family my boys they keep yeah. me very busy how old are your boys uh my elder one is of course they're grown up 25 and 20 but i get it mm -hmm. i get it trust me 
You know, I said to my son who's 17, he goes, mom, I'm like, you're always going to be my baby. You know, that's just the way yes. it is. Yeah. Yes. So is meditation part of your life? Like when you wake up in the morning, like, is it something in the afternoon, in the evening or throughout the day? Tell us a little bit about your meditation practice. Uh, for in the early in the morning is my sugar time. I write a page of sugar every day. Oh, do I, you? Yes, I write a page of sugar. That's my uh, this. But early in the morning, um, I have to thank God for everything. Yeah. So then, then I start my day. I have uh, then in the afternoon. I take time out for my meditation when I'm yeah. actually free, quiet. Um, that's the time I do my meditation. You know. It does, you know, everyone says, you know, write gratitude, write gratitude. And like some days people are just writing it and not thinking about it, but it really does change the way your outlook is on the world. Definitely. When you just think about all the things you're grateful for, not that you don't have other issues, it just minimizes them, doesn't it? Definitely. Definitely yeah. it does. So Tell us a little bit about the weather over there. Cause my, one of my friends over there said, Sandy, it goes from hot to hotter. <laughs> so right now, what is it over there? Are you at the hotter or are you at the hot? We are still waiting for the hottest. Okay. So the July, August would be very hot. So basically yeah. your summer is our summer. Cause our summer is, is June, July and August, but it's just yes. mm -hmm. probably hotter there. Yeah. Yes. Because it's totally a desert area. Yeah. Yeah. But Dubai doesn't look like a desert area at all. How do they do that? It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I've seen Dubai grow from sands to what is it today? Wow. I can't wait to come there. Well, it's been a blast. Thank you so much. I love your story. I love your journey. Inspiring. Your jewelry is off the chain. But Renew, how can they find you? We will make sure we include it. But tell us how they can find you. My website is on www.labelrm.com and um, uh, we are on Instagram as well, uh, label, R, uh, label underscore RM. Love it. Love it. Check you out. And I did look at the website. There's a lot of cool things even there, you know, and yeah. you're, and you're right for what they are. They're very affordable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For what they are. I mean, oh my God. And I just love, I mean, I'm still, I have to recap for people that how excited I am that you can take a piece that's in their head and create it for them or take a piece that's a shell that has a memory for them or I a ring you. or don't throw out your tennis brace. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of done stuff with it. Mm. And, and I'm sure what you create would be like, oh my God, so. People check her out, have fun with it, be inspired to step out with what you want to do, whatever your dream is. Remember, you can't worry about if it's always going to work out because it's not. All right. And to me, if you're an entrepreneur, failure is just not trying because not everybody is going to see your vision, get your vision. But if you really are clear on why you want to put it out in the world and you can see Renew is very clear on what she wants to do and what she wants to bring to that person. Don't stop. Don't stop. Thank you. Is there I anything we didn't get in, Renu, that you wanted to get in? I think we covered a lot. Yes, we covered everything. Good. But uh, I have to say thank you so much, Sandy, for this opportunity. Love res the response you get for us. Do let us know. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And we'll let you know we're posting it. Yes. All right, my powerful, positive lady, go set the world on fire. And you know what I'm going to say. Until next time, toodles.